Salazar now in a spot he's never been in. He's already been down once in the first round. And he knows no other way to fight. He goes right back in front of Michael Carvajal. That's the only thing he knows. In and into the attack. I think the size of Carvajal, the height, plus his boxing ability, is keeping Salazar confused. He can't quite get into where he wants to. Great combination puncher Carvajal is. He's so cool. He looks so good uh, boxing. You have to go back to the Willie Peps and the Sugar Ray uh, Robinsons to see a guy so composed. He knows what he's going to do. He knows what he wants to land. And he goes right at it. You know, the other thing, too, is that 22 realizes the value of the body punch. He just landed it, as you said. He landed a tremendous sort of semi-uppercut and hook to the body. Come later on Sports World, the $150,000 bowling shootout. It's basically a skins game at the bowling lane. Stay tuned for that. $150,000 at stake. This is round three. Carvajal the champion. Salazar the challenger. Look at Salazar. Bounce two jabs and a body shot off Carvajal. I, I bet Carvajal's got to be thinking, what is this guy? In front of me, how much can he take? You know, when you come in, he, he survived the Panama invasion. He survived all kind of shootouts in his house. When you come from that background, this must seem easy. Yeah, he's one of 12 children. And his family, he admits, lives in abject poverty. Down in Panama City, he was living in a condemned building. When the U.S. invaded Panama, bullets were flying all over his head, just like those Carvajal punches. Look at this. Seconds of round three. This IBF Junior Flyweight fight scheduled for 12. 